Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a great summer. I look forward to meeting you uh, when we return in the fall. I want to just take some time to talk about the two new programs that we're rolling out this year, the MAS Family Faith Formation Initiative, and then also the new Ignite Confirmation Preparation Program, and also to show you how to uh, register for those events. Uh, we right now are rolling out the parish registration process. We will also have a school registration process for SBA uh, in, in a couple weeks. Uh, that'll be a separate uh, registration uh, page that you'll go to. But for the parish, I wanted to just explain a little bit about these two programs, but the, and then also show you how to register for each of them. So let me just log in real quick. Over the past few weeks, you should have received a few emails with the registration link that should have brought you to this page. Uh, you also might have went through our website. Uh, all of the information about these two programs is up there as well. But I just wanted to go through a couple details about both programs. So our Emmaus Family Faith Formation Initiative really seeks to build community amongst our families of St. Bart's. Uh, we're going to come together once a month to really dive deeper into offering an encounter experience with God and with our faith, to be able to connect us with families, and then also uh, to provide like practical skills at all the different age levels, including parents, that can be lived out in the world. As I said, everyone will participate in uh, one session a month and it'll follow in either an A or B schedule. So whatever start date that you start on, whether it be October 3rd or October 17th, those will be the dates you follow going forward. You also have the ability on either of those dates to pick three, between three different time sessions. The first is 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. We are asking that all of our First Communion families sign up for the 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. session. If you have a child in First Confirmation or Second Confirmation, they will follow the 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. schedule. The only families that would have to double up are those who have a second grader and then also have someone in confirmation. And we'll talk about that once we get to the Ignite program. So when you're registering, you're going to look for the, the out of all these dates, which dates you want to participate in. And if, if Schedule A is better for you or Schedule B is for, better for you, you can choose either of those. We're asking that for this Family Faith Formation Initiative that you sign up, not just your child, but then also at least one parent. Uh, both parents are welcome to attend, uh, but we are asking that at least one parent attend throughout, throughout this process. We will begin with mass, following mass, there'll be a theme that we'll unpack, and then we'll move to age appropriate small groups. And when all of the children go to their small groups, we'll also be offering a session for parents as well. That'll last about 30 minutes, and then we will return as one large group to do a little family activity and also to get to know the other families of the program. Whatever schedule you choose, you'll maintain that schedule moving forward. So if you're in, if you chose that first week in October, October, you'll stay with the A schedule. If you chose that second time period in October, you'll stick with the B schedule. The same thing goes for our time slots. And so if you chose the 9 a.m. time slot, you'll stick to that time slot for those six sessions throughout the year. The registration fee, we changed it up a little bit this year. Uh, and so you'll see that there was an increase from uh, last year for if you just had one child in the program. So it went, uh, so now it's 225, which is a little bit less for those who had more than one child. We normally had it at 250. But the, the important thing to know is that we also took away the registration cost for the Ignite Confirmation Program. Um, so if you do the math and you um, you look across all of the years of the, the Faith Formation Program, uh, it, it comes out to about to be around the same price. And the reason we had to do that is just because of this Faith Direct system. It didn't allow us to do a tier pricing per uh, how many children we have, it would have made it too complex. And so we decided to, to keep it one flat fee. If there is any questions about that, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I am willing to talk things out with you and figure out something to make that work. We are in 
great need of volunteers for this program. It's a big initiative. We are um, looking to walk through with throughout these six sessions with about 1600 people. Uh, and so it'll be all split up throughout those sessions. So there's probably only gonna be like 200 or so people at each of the sessions, but we uh, could really use volunteers as, as catechist teachers in the classroom or just to, to monitor those small groups. We can also use aides for those little small group times, hall monitors. Uh, we're also looking to have a little bit of a hospitality team, welcome team that can help with, as people come in, can hand out resources and stuff like that. So if you're interested, uh, you can click that link there and fill out the form and I'll get in touch with you about volunteering. If this is your first time registering with the program and you weren't baptized at St. Bart's, we'll just need a copy of your baptismal certificate and you can send that to Ann Roglin. If uh, you have a question of what that is, you can just give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to you. The Unite Confirmation Preparation Program will uh, also be running in tandem with these events at that Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. time slot. The uh, Confirmation 2 will follow the Sunday A schedules with Confirmation 1 following the Sunday B schedules. In Confirmation 2, we will also have a retreat that will replace one of those, those dates, uh, and more information will, of that will come. Uh, we're just working to set that up currently. The director of Confirmation is Carla Kelly. Uh, she's also new to, to uh, the staff, but she's been a parishioner. Her, parent, her kids have gone through the Confirmation program. They actually just were confirmed this past year and last year, and so we will be redesigning this whole program from scratch as well. And so I just thank you for your patience as we continue to, to tweak this and then make it as good of an experience as possible for your families. Parents are welcome to stick around for that parent session for the mass and then also the parent session uh, for um, that will also be running with the uh, all the first to sixth grade parents, but uh, they're, they, they're not required. They don't have to stay. If you have a second grader and you have someone in confirmation one or confirmation two, we encourage you to attend with the second grader as a family and then bring your child to the beginning of the confirmation session, which will be around five o'clock. Uh, we will be looking to start around probably a little bit before that, right? but if you can be there around five, that would be great. Uh, this way you guys can go to mass as a family um, or you guys can come uh, one parent could come to the mass in the morning with the second grader and another parent can come to the confirmation mass uh, with the confirmation student, or you can bring the confirmation student to mass um, with their friends as well. We'll also need volunteers for this as well. So if you're interested, feel free to sign up and be happy to talk to you more about that. Either I or Carla will, will reach out to you. So all this information should have been in your emails. And so you can scroll all the way down and this is where you'll register. And so we, as you can see, we have the different sessions all set up for you. So we have Sunday A with the three time slots, Sunday B with the three time slots. And we also have the second year confirmation prep, which happens on Sunday A and first year confirmation prep, which happens on Sunday B. When it comes to the quantity, for the Emmaus Family Faith Formation Program, we're gonna ask that not only do you sign up your child, but you also will sign up your, the parents that will be attending. So for example, for myself, it would be um, my daughter, my wife and I, so I'd pick three here. Once you hit the three, the quantity there, uh, three tickets would pop up here. For all parent tickets, you only have to answer these four questions that are here. So first name, last name, role, and Catholic. The role just asks for father, mother, child. Catholic is yes or no, so that's if, you, if you've been baptized or not. For all, the, for all these other questions for parent tickets, you can ignore those. You can just skip to the next one. So you say that was mom's ticket, this could be dad's, and skip to the next one. And then for the child, you'll fill out these four fields and then you will also fill out this field down here. Uh, this is what we need for the sacramental records and so, and to also help within our classes. So you can choose which, uh, so you can fill out this information and it'll be sent to us. Once you're finished, you would scroll all the way down to the bottom. 
one important thing to know is that say you have uh, three people uh, participating in our Emmaus Family Faith Formation Program, and you have one confirmation student, you would pick the time frame that you would want for the Family Faith Formation Program, and then you would also register your confirmation student for one of these. So if it's the first year, you would register them for the Sunday B session. If it's the second year, you would register them for the for the Sunday A session. And the same thing would happen here. You would hit one, and then you, you would just put in their information. You do not have to register the parents for these sessions. This is just for confirmation, so you can, it, the quantity will only be one. As I said before, we would like all of our First Communion families to be from the 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. session. Uh, those sessions will be more geared toward First Communion uh, and sacramental preparation. It'll still be the same program, but we're gonna do a couple of things that are geared to those families. And so we're trying to keep those families together. Uh, for the parents who have family members who are in the first, um, who are in the Emmaus Family Faith Formation Initiative and also in confirmation prep, but not in second grade, it'd probably be smart to do Sunday A or Sunday B at 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. This way, your whole family can be there at the same time, um, and you'll wrap up at the same time as well. The only, the only caveat to this is if you have a child in second grade again, and you also have someone in confirmation, that's when you have to do a little doubling up. Uh, but I, we're willing to work with you. We can figure out how, what, how to best do that and how to best um, we can have our, the catechist as well be with the, the confirmation students uh, at each of the masses as well. Thank you. And so when you finish up the registration, you'll come to the bottom here. This is going to have all of your contact uh, information that goes into Parasoft so that we can keep con contact uh, connected with you. Uh, and so you'll finish up clicking, uh, putting on all this information and then you'll hit continue registration. So let me just uh, fill out this and we'll move to the next page. Once you continue your registration, you'll be brought to this billing information page. Uh, and so you'll fill out all your, your billing information and hit complete registration. Uh, for confirmation, you won't be charged anything. It just will uh, allow you to complete your registration. You can also scroll up and you'll be able to see all of the information that you put in uh, just to make sure that it's accurate. And you can also edit it if you ever needed to edit it. And so when you're done, you'll hit complete registration and you will receive a confirmation email uh, that's from me, uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Uh, I also want you to know that I, we are very actively watching uh, all of the COVID news that is coming out. Uh, I am connected to Kim at uh, St. Bart's Academy to make sure that we're following what the Board of Education is doing and then also what the CDC is saying to do. Uh, and so we will keep you up to date. Uh, God forbid if this had to go completely virtual again, uh, we have the, we can just transition this to be a virtual program. Um, we have a great little side uh, thing that families will be able to use throughout this uh, process, which we'll talk about more in September, that will be able to be used no matter if it's virtual or in person. So we can definitely make that work. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me anytime. I'd be happy to answer any of those. If uh, you'd like to volunteer, please reach out as well. So thank you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your summer and I look forward to meeting you.